Welcome to your news ticker central, your place for technology and gadget top lists, must-haves and reviews. Dell Latitude 9510 Review The Dell Latitude 9510 is the first member of the company's new Latitude 9000 line of business notebooks. Recall that the Latitude 7000 line was already considered premium, and the 9000, respectively, is considered ultra-premium. Configuration The Dell Latitude 9510 has two noticeably different modifications, a traditional laptop and a two-in-one that folds out into a tablet. They have different screens, a laptop tablet has a touchscreen, and a glossy one covered with solid glass, without a plastic frame, but the set of configurations is exactly the same. The laptop uses ultra-mobile processors Intel Core i5 or Core i7 of the latest, 10th generation Comet Lake, 8GB or 16GB of memory, discrete graphics are not provided, and an MSSD with a volume of 128GB or more is installed as the only drive upgradable up to 1TB. You can also choose between a more and less battery capacity of 88 and 52 watts, and instead of the default professional version of Windows 10, you can install Home. Packaging In an ordinary cardboard box, without a carrying handle, along with a laptop, you can find only a 65W power adapter weighing 200 grams with a total length of two cables of 2.6 meters and printed materials. The adapter is sleek, it has rounded edges, around which the cable can be conveniently wrapped and fixed. The USB Type-C connector connected to the laptop port has a network connection indicator on both sides of the connector. Appearance and ergonomics Dell calls the Latitude 9510 the lightest and most compact laptop in its niche, and this statement is very close to the truth. However, there is a small caveat. Dell today is practically the only manufacturer that produces notebooks with a 15-inch screen exactly. Therefore, the Latitude 9510 is automatically smaller and lighter than the absolute majority of 15-inch notebooks with a 15.6-inch screen diagonal. Due to the thin bezel around the screen, it is really comparable in size to 14-inch models. By weight which is just under 1.5 kilograms, the laptop is also one of the best in its niche. The body is metal, with a strict finish, the edges and corners are gracefully rounded and beveled. It also tapers a little towards the edges, so the laptop looks even thinner. All surfaces, except for the sidewalls, are met with a slight sanding effect. The sides, on the other hand, are polished, it looks very good. It is pleasant to hold the laptop in your hands, it can be conveniently carried by holding it by the corner. The case does not creak or walk, the lid does not slip under the fingers and does not play when touched. When closed, the lid is fixed with magnets in the corners with a light metal knock, it opens with one hand, but the body jumps up at the same time. When opening the lid to any reasonable angle, it does not touch the table. For this, there are plastic inserts on the back of the hinges. The lid can be opened to the maximum by 180 degrees, while the body rises noticeably above the table in the back. On the rear panel of the case there are only ventilation holes, and during operation the folded cover slides behind them, so that the hot air coming out from the right heats it up. Additional ventilation outlets are located at the very rear edge of the bottom. The rest of the vents on the back of the case and on the bottom are used to draw in cold air. There is a charging indicator on the front end of the case, and since the front edge is beveled downwards, it is almost invisible when working with a laptop. The indicator shines with a matte white light when charging and a matte orange light when the discharge is up to 10%. On the right side you can find a wedge lock hole, the only USB Type A 3.0 port with the function of charging mobile devices even from a switched off laptop, and a universal mini jack for connecting a microphone slash headphone slash headset. On the left side there is an HDMI 2.0 video output, two Thunderbolt 3 USB 3.1 Type-C ports with display port and power delivery support. They are also power connectors, as well as a micro SD card reader. The lid screen is enclosed in a thin plastic frame. Its width is 9mm at the top, 4mm at the sides and 9.5mm. On the top of the frame is a webcam with a signal LED and a manual shutter that can be pulled back to ensure privacy. On the sides of it are proximity and lighting sensors, as well as IR emitters, they help the camera, which has a combined IR plus RGB matrix, to recognize a face even in the dark. The top edge of the lid houses a 4 microphone array for maximum audio quality during conversations. The keyboard without a digital block is typical here, there are no complaints about the main keys, but the arrows are combined and very inconvenient. 
The power button is not separated from the general block of keys, it can be pressed accidentally. The upper row of keys is narrowed, the function buttons in it have two functions, the second is implemented in combination with the function key. The keyboard has a membrane mechanism and an island arrangement of keys, buttons are moderately large, comfortable, the distance between the centers of the keys in one row is 20 mm, and between their edges, 3 mm. Typing on the keyboard is comfortable, there are practically no sounds when typing. Full key travel is standard, about 1.5 mm. There is a two-level white backlight in terms of brightness. The symbols on the keys and a little perimeter of each key are highlighted. The backlight automatically turns off after 10 to 15 seconds of inactivity. In the traditional place under the keyboard, there is a recessed click pad measuring 116 times 68 mm. Its upper edge is not pressed, pressing conventionally in the lower right corner corresponds to pressing the right mouse button, pressing in the rest of it corresponds to the left mouse button. Presses are handled clearly, and in addition, the touchpad supports all modern gestures, including scrolling the contents of a window and calling the context menu, switching desktops, minimizing and maximizing windows, which are carried out with two, three or four fingers. The touch surface is large enough to perform even four-finger gestures. You cannot quickly disable the touchpad with a keyboard shortcut. To remove the bottom panel of the case, you need to unscrew a few screws for a Phillips screwdriver. This allows access to the cooler, non-removable battery, wireless network adapter and SSD in the M.2 slot. The memory chips are soldered on the board. An empty M.2 slot is intended for installing a card with a modem in one configurations. Appearance of Dell Latitude 9510 2-in-1 Convertible Latitude 9510 2-inch 1's lid tilts 360 degrees, a touch screen is installed, and the use of a capacitive stylus is supported, with which you can control the system interface and draw on the screen. 2-in-1 laptop can be placed on a table or other surface in almost anything. Screen Dell Latitude 9510 laptop uses a 15-inch IPS panel with a resolution of 1920x1080. The outer surface of the matrix is black, hard and semi-matte. There is no special anti-reflective coating or filter, and there is no air gap. With AC or battery power and manual brightness control, it peaked at a decent 440 CD per square meter. The maximum brightness is quite high, so with a laptop with relative comfort you can work outdoors on a clear day, if you are at least not in direct sunlight. Dell Latitude 9510 2-in-1 screen The notebook Dell Latitude 9510 2-in-1 uses 15-inch IPS matrix with a resolution of 1920x1080. The outer surface of the matrix is a mineral glass with a mirror smooth surface. There is no air gap in the layers of the screen. Judging by the reflection of objects, the anti-glare properties of the screen are better than that of the Google Nexus 7. The laptop screen is noticeably darker. On the outer surface of the laptop screen there is a special oleophobic, grease-repellent, coating, so fingerprints are removed much more easily, and appear at a slower rate than in the case of ordinary glass. There is no flicker at any brightness level. Sound Traditionally, laptop audio is based on the Realtek codec. Sound is output through two large speakers located on the sides of the keyboard. They play loud and clear. Battery power. The laptop battery has a capacity of 52 watts. Even with a base battery, the smaller of the two, the Dell Latitude 9510 delivered very decent battery life when playing videos. In the mode of working with text, the result is completely record-breaking. Accordingly, if no serious load on the processor is expected, the laptop can be safely taken to work or to mobile negotiations, meetings without a power adapter. Operational load and heating. The laptop has one cooler, with two heat pipes and a radial fan, it takes cold air through the holes on the bottom and rear left, and blows hot air back to the right, through the holes on the back of the case, heating the bottom of the screen along the way, and down in the very rear housing. At good temperature conditions, the fan can stop, even in the maximum performance profile. Conclusion The Dell Latitude 9510 has a beautiful, compact, thin and light metal case, although overall the exterior, in our opinion, is too neutral restrained. The quality of workmanship and small details confirm the high level. 
An excellent bright screen with the correct color gamut allows you to work outdoors. The laptop has loud and clear sound, making it well suited for online conversations and meetings. The battery life is very long even with the basic battery. The laptop is quiet and weakly heated even under maximum load. Interesting software features have the potential to provide more usability, including perhaps a slight performance boost, longer battery life, and longer battery life. There is a two-in-one laptop option that folds out into a tablet. At the same time, our laptop had a rather modest configuration and even in the older configurations the processor, for example, will not be really productive. There are a few interface connectors, and although everything is fine with wireless networks, there is no wired network. That's all for now, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.